Welcome to Fahad's tutorial and this is Fahad Hussain. In this class, I shall be explaining about the law of conservation of momentum. In my previous class, I have already explained what is momentum and you also know the definition of momentum as this is a cross product of mass and velocity. This is very important law of physics and this can be deduced from the Newton's third law. In Newton's third law, what was that statement? The statement was that each and every reaction has its opposite and equal reactions. So there is two words, action and reactions. And from that law, we can deduce this conservation of law. And the statement is, there is written uh, that the statement of the law, if no force, this is very important because there is only two words will be acting action and reaction there should not be any other force then only action and reaction so we will talk about these two words action and reaction so if there is no other force other than action and reaction acts between more than one this is important so more than one objects then there is no change in the total momentum of the system in any particular direction so if only action and reaction occurs in more than one objects then the total momentum of before collisions and after collisions would be same and how things will happen let, let two bodies here like uh, if you say that this is a body which is B is moving in this direction and there is another body which is Q is moving in same direction so if I say that the mass of P is M1 and the mass of Q is M2 and the mass of uh, the velocity initial velocity of P is U1 and initial velocity is U2 and then suddenly what will happen if somehow the u1 the velocity of p is slightly higher than u2 what will happen this p and this q will have a collisions so that's why when p will give a force and x on q then it will feel an action towards Q which is F1 and according to third law of Newton's this body and Q will definitely have a very same, same magnitude reactions to P which is F2 if U1 is greater than U2 so you see there is a body P and Q is going in a straight line and if U1 is greater than U2 then P will definitely give an actions to F1 to Q actually as an F1 and then what will happen then some changes of velocity will be in those two objects so after the collision the velocity will be changed so we can say this this part is A we can write is before collision and this one during collision and this one after collision so what will be going on here that we simply think there is two objects is moving in the same direction and somehow if you one is greater than u2 then what will happen p will give a force in action which is f1 and according to newton's third law f2 will be same but in opposite direction so from the third law we can say that f1 is equal minus f2 as it is directions changed so we can write this f1 is m1 a1 as we know from the second law that f is equal to m we know this is very well known principle and then this would be minus m2 
a2. So if these things are saying that we can have another equations that we know from the definition of acceleration, that a is the change of velocity on reaction. So we can say that m1 v1 minus e1 by t and here a2 it will be v minus u by t and why the t is same because the collision will happen in the same time duration so there will be a same t so we can omit this t from two part so we can have a new equations from here which is we can say that m1 v1 minus m1 u1 so we can say that m1 v1 minus m1 u1 and we can have here this minus also so we can write same that m1 v m2 v2 minus m2 v2 and this is minus cross minus is plus actually so it would be m2 u2 so plus m2 u2 so you can have it from these equations and we can just only change the uh, two quantities from here so the similar m1 e1 m1 v1 keep it here and then move it from here to here that would be plus so this would be m2 v2 is equal to so we can give this m1 e1 to the other side so you can write m1 e1 as a plus and then this would be m2 u2 so from this equation we can conclude that the momentum of these two substances, we can have two bodies P and Q. So you see that the summation of M1 U1 and M2 U2 is equal to the summation of M2 V2 and M1 V1. It means the total momentum of the system will never change if there is no other force applied or acts other than action and reaction. In this figure, we only explain about the action and reaction, no other force, no other like like force can be like another, another thing like heat can be produced, sound can be produced. So if there is no other transformation of energy, if there is no other force acts on these two objects, then the total system of momentum will never change to any particular direction. So there are a lot of mathematical explanation also on this principle and you can have more mathematics on this equation we need to use it m1 e1 plus m2 u2 is equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 and we will do a maths on it in the next classes and of course i just only explained i just only wrote the part of mathematics and there are more elaborations on your book you can write or you can follow you can read and you can understand what's going on and if the questions like what are the laws of conservations of momentum then we need to explain it we need to write it on the answer sheet so hopefully you understand and if you don't and if you need something more do let me know in the comment section of youtube and i'll definitely try my level best to answer all these questions and make a videos so take care and see you in the next class bye